Frequency separation is the most popular way of skin retouching. In this video, I'm going to show you a unique frequency separation action that takes the least amount of time and effort to get high-end retouched images. This action, if you come to your action pad, you see this action, Slammy Smart Retouch. I will be giving this action free to our top commenters. So if you've not already, like and leave a comment on this video. If you are not a top commenter, you can check the link in the description to get it at a very discounted price. Watch this video to see the result you get from this action before deciding if you really need it or not. So the smart retouch, you click here, set the radius for this, I'll send the radius 10, around 10 or 15 for headshots. Let's just leave it at the radius of 10 for this and then you click on OK. This action works like magic. It does most of the work for you. Like, if you open this action here in this Slam Smart 3 Wings FX, you see this layer here that is mid FX. All you have to do with this particular layer is just to unmax it. That is, why on this max? Take your brush, make sure the foreground is white, and then the flow should be around 40, 50, any flow. Increase your opacity and brush over the skin to review the effect of this particular action. Avoid the head area, just brush only over the skin. What this does is to refine the textures, make them more even and papillae without actually totally removing them. So you move this over the skin. And the next stage is to come to this layer one. Take your muscle tool. Make sure the fingering value is 20. And then you mix a selection on the skin. Go to feeder, blow, caution blow. Release of 60, click on OK, go to this area, the highlight area here, and click on the Gaussian block to apply the previous value, which was 60, and again, at this point you see that the pimples is gone, the whole skin tone on is now more even. We go around the whole skin doing the same thing. You can see that there's no uh, tricky technique here, it's just straightforward. You select and apply the Gaussian blur radius. You continue this all over the skin. You can see for retouching this, we take you about three minutes to do or two minutes depending on the image. If it's full body shot, the process is even way faster. And the value of the radius you are going to use just depends on how smooth or how even you want your tone to be. Remember that this has zero effect on the texture. It's just being applied poorly on the color. That is the skin tone. It evens the skin tone. I give it a blended transition it makes it more appealing to the eye let's take a look at the before and the after this was the before 
this is the state we are right now. Without this uh, mid FX layer we first applied, if you just apply this in uh, layer one, a method only, the skin texture will not look that great. I'll show you how powerful this action is on a more difficult skin immediately after this, right in this video. So keep watching. Just like this, uh, that do not need too much blur, you can still come back to the feeder, blow, cash and blow, and let's say the reduce around 20. But I see the result in real time, says previous tit. So now you click up OK. This was the before. This is the after. Uh, this was the before. This was. I see that this technique is very super easy. The next thing after this is dodging and burning. Dodging and burning is beyond the scope of this video. But as a subscriber to this channel, I'll put out the next video about dodging and bonding, showing you the best, easiest technique to dodge and bond. You will get a notification if you subscribe and turn on the notification <laughs> bell right now.